Many advances were made in nuclear power, rockets, and aerospace engineering during World War II. Following the war, the United States and other powerful nations looked for new ways to use these technologies. In 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite sent into space. The event began an era known as the Space Age. The following year, the United States founded the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, to conduct research and development for its own space program. Its headquarters was in Washington, D.C. By May of 1961, the United States sent its first astronaut into space. Alan Shepard traveled aboard the Freedom 7, which launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida. The next goal in the space race between the United States and Soviet Union was to land an astronaut on the moon. However, more resources were necessary to reach this goal. The growth of the American space program required a new, larger facility for training and mission control. The existing operations in Florida and Virginia did not have room. An area southeast of downtown Houston, Texas, was chosen as the site of the new facility. Several features made the area a good location. First, there was access to open water. This was ideal for transporting large pieces of equipment by barge between Houston and Florida by way of the Gulf of Mexico. The climate in Texas was also suitable for working outdoors year-round. In addition, Houston was a large city, which meant plenty of workers to fill the jobs required at the facility. Being a larger city also meant that Houston had useful resources, such as a large airport, a major television network, and several prominent universities. The decision to build in Houston was also influenced by then-Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson, who was from Texas. The new center was established in 1961 as the Manned Spacecraft Center, or MSC. The first space flight controlled from the MSC was the Gemini 4, which launched in 1965. The flight resulted in the first spacewalk done by an American, astronaut Ed White. Mission Control at Houston has overseen every American human space mission since. Following the Gemini program was the Apollo program, which aimed to complete a lunar landing. The Apollo 11 mission accomplished this goal on July 20, 1969, when Neil Armstrong took his first steps on the surface of the moon. More than 600 million people watched the television transmission of Apollo 11's lunar landing. This groundbreaking launch was handled by NASA's Mission Control Center in Houston. The MSC was later renamed the Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center, or Johnson Space Center, JSC for short, not long after the death of former President Johnson in 1973. A new Mission Control Center with up-to-date technology opened in Houston in 1995. The original Mission Control is now a historic facility. The site's official visitor center, Space Center Houston, gives visitors a glimpse behind the scenes of space travel, allowing them to watch astronauts train, see shuttle replicas, and even touch a moon rock. The Johnson Space Center still leads the human spaceflight program in the United States. Training, research, design, development, and testing are all conducted at the Houston site. The work of its scientists and engineers has led to advancements in multiple fields, including energy, medicine, robotics, communications, and agriculture.